Hashem, and I love my family, and I love my nation, and I'm originally from the Fertile Crescent, also known as my mother, but aren't we all, and that's what's so uniting about us. When I was three years old, my grandmother, who survived the Holocaust, gave me a violin, it's actually right there on the wall, and this violin um, was while my grandmother was in Auschwitz and her family was in Auschwitz as well. Her house was empty and usually what happened to empty houses in the Holocaust is that they were looted, completely stolen. Um, but her neighbors actually were righteous Gentiles, like many are, and held on to her stuff and gave him back to her when she came back and they gave her back this violin. My dream is to see my whole entire nation come together as one. The Haredi stop fighting with the Chiloni and the Chiloni to stop fighting with the Haredi. That was the religious to stop fighting with the secular and the secular to stop fighting with the religious. My dream is to accomplish this using universal language such as music, such as words of truth, such as parties. Who doesn't like all that? Hey Shimmy, what's going on? Party going on over there? I'm almost getting ready. Nice. I think we're going to head over. Oh, happening. Yeah, come over whenever you want. We're right across from the Temple Mount. All right. I got the coolest Jews over here. We're going to bring them over. Okay, bring them all. Love you, man. <laughs> See you soon. All right. Let's go. Israel is so amazing because it's the only home for the Jewish people. And finally, after 2,000 years, the Israel, nation of Israel has returned home. And finally, here we are. The prophecy has come true. I'm standing and walking in the old city of Jerusalem. Like, there's so much creation and creativity in the air, constantly flowing. I try to like tap in sometimes and grab someone put it down on paper or on guitar. You know, there's a famous question asked, why when Hashem created the world, He created so many lions and so many trees and so many birds? and so many flowers, so many bees, but only one man, so no one can say my ancestor is better than your ancestor, because we all come from the same being, the first man. So I love all people because of that. You might ask, what makes the Jews special? Are they smart? They won all the Nobel Peace Prizes. No, there's plenty of dumb Jews. Are they rich or they're great in the economy? No, there's plenty of poor Jews. The one gift that we have is that we have the Torah. This is our gift, and I completely value the Torah and all of the values that the Torah gives to us. And one of those is taking care of creation, all of creation, to withhold it and to help keep it. There are so many people who are part of the Jewish Community Project. I've been working with the IDF, the soldiers. I've played for over 100,000 soldiers, and I've led them at services down at the Kota. And then when that happens, all of a sudden, who joins in? Everyone joins in. The Japanese, the African, the Muslim, the Christian. We find ourselves dancing at the Kotel together. The religious, the secular, it doesn't matter. And it's a huge, huge merit to have done that and to be continued doing that. I want to see Ishechad Kalevachad. That means one man, one heart. I want to see all of us come together. Now, the question is how to achieve that. And the answer is Jewish Unity Project. The answer is Jewish Unity Project, because Jewish Unity Project is a tangible, it's something that you can do as opposed to watching the news and say, oh no, when are things going to get better? It's like, no, wait, you can make things better. Put something together, make a project in your own community. Get your family together, get your friends together, get your neighbors together, get, get the Christian and Muslims in Brooklyn together, like my father is doing, who say this will never happen. I'll tell you the truth, I haven't met a Jew who's come to me and said, this will never happen. Everyone who I tell my, about my project, whether it's a taxi driver, or some dude on the beach in Tel Aviv, or some Hasidic man in his little house of prayer. They all love it, they all want it, they all say, this is important. 
I call this Jewish Unity Project because I would like to remind the world to be proud of their heritage and proud of their culture and don't let nations that put them into a melting pot try to whitewash them of all of their beautiful differences. I'd like to remind everyone to be happy about where you come from and to work with your family and your team members and your, your mates the strongest. And I'm hoping hopefully to be an example for my whole entire world.